Hey, yeah, uh, what's going on, people? So let's talk about arguments and parameters. I have a function named birthday, which we discussed in the previous video. This will print two lines of text. Happy birthday, dear X. You are Y years old. What I would like to do is replace X with a user's name and Y with a user's age. So here's how we can write a program like that. So let's begin by, within the main function, declaring two variables, a character array named name and assign this your first name and an age. And this will be of the int data type. And let's say that this will be age and make up some age. I like to think that I'm still 21 years old. Okay, so if I try and display a name and age, you think this would work, right? So I'm going to use a format specifier, then S to display a string. And then I will display our name variable. And with Y, let's display our age. So let's use D for our format specifier to display an integer, and we will display age. Now, here's the problem. You can see that we have some red underlines. Name is undeclared as well as age. Here's the deal. Functions can't see inside of other functions. Our birthday function is unaware of our name and age variables. One way in which we can make our birthday function aware of these is to pass them as arguments when we invoke the birthday function. So based on the last topic on functions, I mentioned that when we call a function, we type the function's name followed by a set of parentheses. I like to imagine the set of parentheses as a pair of telephones and these two functions are talking to each other. Our main function needs to make our birthday function aware of our name and age variables. So what we can do is pass these variables as arguments. So between the parentheses, we can add our variables separated with a comma. So let's pass name and age. So anything that you're passing to a function are known as arguments, but we need a matching set of parameters within the function declaration. So between this set of parentheses, we will list our name and age variables, but precede each with the data type that we're working with. So we have name and age. So age is an integer, so precede the variable name with int. And name is a character array, so we're going to precede name with char, and then add a set of straight brackets after. So these are parameters. Parameters are what this function needs in order to be executed. So this does work. Happy birthday, dear bro, you are 21 years old. So with parameter setup, you can only call this function if you pass a character array as well as an integer. If I were to remove these arguments, we can no longer call this birthday function. Error, too few arguments to function birthday. So when you call a function, you can pass some arguments, but you need a matching set of parameters. And the names of these parameters don't necessarily have to be the same. What's important is the order of the arguments and the data type. So let's say name is X and age is Y. So let's replace that here as well. And that would work too. So yeah, those are arguments and parameters. Arguments are what you're sending a function. Parameters are what a function expects when it's invoked. And the benefits of arguments and parameters is that these functions can talk to each other because functions can't see inside of one another. So if you have some variables within a function, you can pass them to another function as arguments. So yeah, those are arguments and parameters. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are arguments and parameters in C.